How you all doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Um, things here have been uh, relatively exciting still. Um, the uh, lava is fresh and new. It's not the 1955 stuff anymore. So it's a, a, a real low viscosity, very fluid, and uh, it's been running like crazy. Uh, they say two to three hundred yards an hour. And uh, it's broken into two flows, and both of them are now hitting the ocean. Uh, that's what everybody wanted it to do. Uh, that's a good thing, I guess. Um, but uh, it's creating uh, lays, uh, which is lava haze. And so for those of you who are not familiar with the... Uh, uh, the volcanologist terms, if I mention VOG, V-O-G, well, that's volcanic gases, all right? It's, a, it's the natural equivalent of smog in Los Angeles. Um, and if I mention lays, lays is what happens when molten lava enters seawater and it produces these clouds, and part of the cloud contains particles and fibers of glass, you don't want to be anywhere around it. It's very irritating. You don't want to inhale it and so on. And so we're, at, we're getting a Lay's experience today. Uh, that When it made the ocean, uh, the lava cut off Highway 137. So currently, anybody living in Lower Puna only has one single decent escape route. That's up Highway 130, and Highway 130 has big cracks forming in it with steam coming out of them. And so they're only allowing local traffic on 130, but you used to be able to get out on 137 to 132 and head into Pahoa or the uh, uh, Kohiki Road. Could take you up to 132 and head you into Pahoa. Pohiki Road's shut. 137 is shut now. 130 will bring you up from the bottom of the island yet, but only in the case of an emergency. Nobody uh, who doesn't live down there or doesn't have business down there should be on that road either because it's breaking up. They are talking about uh, fixing up the road that was lost back in the 1980s during the Kalapana flow. Uh, during the Pahoa flow a few years back, they did recover that road. But I guess another flow covered it, they say. It's about a half mile of it that went into some fresher lava. So this morning they were talking about going in and uh, cleaning up that as, a, as an emergency exit. Now, it's going to be a long way for people who live down there because you're going to have to go uh, up. And then the only way out of there is through the Volcanoes National Park, which is uh, currently closed, too. Uh, so there's some issues. Uh, let's just hope that anybody that need to be out of there is out of there. Uh, that's, that's a lot of people. It's a, it's a fairly populated region down there. Um, low property prices, beautiful land, uh, probably the uh, cheapest Pacific Ocean frontage you can buy in the state of Hawaii is, uh, is down there and so on. So, it's a lot of people. Real problem with the road stop. The uh, Volcano Observatory uh, at uh, Kilauea in the park, apparently that got hit by a lot of junk and was damaged uh, from one of Kilauea's main caldera eruptions lately. And uh, this morning I heard the volcanologists had all run for their lives and escaped to Hilo. And so uh, they, they have left, left the observation area. And I guess some of the uh, equipment they use for monitoring the solar panels are getting covered up with uh, volcanic ash, and so a lot of their equipment is shutting down too. And so we got you know complete volcanic disaster going on here, and uh, at least about five percent of the island. Um, and with all of this news media, um, you would think that there's people dying left and right. You know, well, for real, there has been tremendous psychological impact here. Uh, a lot of property damage. Uh, the whole works is going to cost us a lot of money. So economically, it's been very bad for the number of homeowners that lost their houses or the ones that can't go back to them who didn't lose them because of the gas. This is a real, real problem. Um, but, you know, what do they say about that? You can't replace a life and, you know, property. You can always buy another one, I guess. And so that's the best way to look at it. 
Yesterday, though, we had our first real injury. With all this media and hoopla, and nobody wants to come to the island, and the Norwegian cruise lines checking out went to Maui and so on and so forth. They canceled half of the reservations for the future here on the island because they're terrified. One guy got hurt yesterday. That's the first one. Okay? I mean, maybe somebody tripped along the line and scuffed a knee. But uh, this guy was near the f near the flow at the, the fisher at his house, and apparently on a balcony, and a ball of molten hot rock come up out of the fissure and went flying towards him and hit him in the leg. Uh, I don't know exactly how serious the injury was. He's in the hospital here. He will survive this. It, it didn't kill him. I, I don't know whether it was both a, a contusion and an impact or a, just the burn from the molten rock. But he did get hurt. And, uh, of course, he was sightseeing from his balcony onto a fissure when it happened. But uh, it's the first one. Please, pay attention. One man has been hurt so far. So uh, I get a lot of concern from folks. Are you all right? Are you all right? Yeah, you know, we, you know, we could end up with some pretty bad air, stuff like that. Oh, I got my masks. If I needed them, they're here. Uh, but uh, this is, it looks so horrible, you know, in the media. But first injury, a lava burn. Um, he'll survive. Other than that, I, the only other thing I have to report on today is uh, more images uh, in the lava of faces, um, whether they be Pele or whatever uh, the faces are, but there are more uh, images that look like faces in the lava. Now, I've got some people who've taken this whole Pele spotting very seriously. Uh, of course, you know, here uh, on the island, Hawaiians mostly all believe uh, this kind of thing. I certainly don't argue with them. I see faces in the lava, but I see faces in clouds, I see faces in rocks, I see faces. That's natural for the human brain to do that. I have taken a certain amount of flack from people, um, uh, that's for sure, uh, although I've had also a lot of consideration over it too. So There's a few people that just think this whole thing is pretty silly. Yeah, well, I guess if you live in Kansas you can think it's silly. They don't take it silly here, um, but anyhow, I have some more images we can take a look at, too. Thank you for your cards and letters, <laughs> your emails.